Good day, it's another day here in Ho Chi Minh City and as you can see we have actually moved the hotel room. This is still the same hotel but we decided to extend our stay for yeah. three more nights. Three more nights and that's why we had to change room because the other guest was coming on that room. So, But now we are actually in the top floor and this is very basic very small room yeah. of course it has a bed which has actually two like a lockers so you can put your stuff in with the view of uh, how do i open it well we do have a, a few view not pretty great view but it's a view bathroom looks cool too like a bamboo <laughs> bamboo wall print and these has these Japanese doors that just slide in as you can see actually I think this room was a little bit cheaper yeah. like something like 15 euros or something or probably even less it's a good room the internet in this building isn't that good it's not horrible or terrible but it's not good because I just uploaded the new video from Malacca yesterday and it took so many hours to upload it probably after when you're when you're watching this video we are already in finland because our laptop isn't that good for editing and because the editing is very hard on that 2017 macbook it's kind of slow uh, tonight we are actually heading to vegan food tour here in ho chi minh hanne or hanne Book, I, I booked it, yeah. Yeah, booked it on, was it Airbnb? Yeah. Airbnb experiences. So this is not affiliate or anything, or we don't get anything, but we will still link it down below, just in case. Of course, we have high high hopes for it. The food so far has been really good. Yeah. And it's actually really easy to find vegan food in here, so. Yeah, you just find this, find pretty much the say, the sign that says Chai, J. J. C. C H A Y, so that means vegetarian, yeah. so. and it's usually also vegan. So yeah. we will see if we can actually vlog something when we are in the in the food tour. But yeah, we'll see. Our driver will pick up pick us up on half an hour, so yeah, it's a motorcycle tour. Yeah, see you later. Bye. again vegan food tour there were actually four of these Vietnamese people they were very very good about like entertaining and telling about the food and everything about Vietnamese culture and everything it was very very good however it wasn't very easy to they like to take take videos or anything it was also like constantly we were moving apart moving around and everything there was british like a, this british indian couple with us which was actually pretty great that we weren't actually the only ones on this on this trip it cost uh, that cost uh, 36 euros per person if you are in ho chi minh city and you're vegan or if you just want to try vegetarian or vegan vegan food tour we will link it link it down below. It was nice. Yeah, yeah there was like lots of food. Yeah, almost, <laughs> a, almost, a lot. Too, almost too much. Yeah, a lot. For me. <laughs> yeah, there was like, I think like ten different dishes or something. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you are, if you, the guys who are who arranged this, points to you. Thanks to you, it was it was amazing. But unfortunately, we couldn't film any video. So, yeah. yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Let's see what we can actually do tomorrow. Yeah, we will know. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. We don't need actually have any plans for today, but we will probably 
head out and see a mall or something. I don't know yet. We just had some breakfast, Vietnamese coffee, some soup and banh mi. As you can see, this is a very local area that we are in. Probably all the background, but I will show you when I switch it around. As you can see, it is very local. But still, I would prefer anyone to actually get a place from places like this. You can get you can get much cheaper. The food is better. The food is cheaper. People are nicer. There are no tourists, no bars. Yeah, the Bui Vien would be like chaotic. There is so many people, so many backpackers, which is kind of a funny thing that people are all always staying in these in these backpacking hostels, which cost about I don't know five fifteen euros per night or something, and then yeah, and it's located in the probably the most expensive area for tourists. Yeah. So why don't you get a place here? Our, our apartment costs about 15, 15 euros per night and the food here is at least 50% cheaper. Yeah. Probably even more because normally when we eat some breakfast, mm -hmm. like of course our coffee, we drink it on the Joy Factory. Well, at the moment it's a bit more expensive place, but still yeah. the, the breakfast with the two drinks, two banh mi's and two soups, it, the total cost is usually like less than four euros. Yeah. You don't get that cheap anywhere near the Bouyvian area. No. So yeah, the years over there are like five, five times more yeah. expensive. Yeah. You can get a cheap beer there also, but yeah. in here the beer is much, much cheaper. But for some reason people are staying where people are staying. There are many tourists, many westerners, so it's always kind of funny that when you come abroad, you still want to hang out with the <laughs> with the Westerners that are yeah. kind of your friends. But, but yeah, this is our place. Heading inside now and then back out. Yeah. So, see ya. Good morning. We just actually arrived here in this place called... Been home Central Park. Yeah. And since we are total Westerners and tourists, we grabbed coffee from Starbucks <laughs> because we actually didn't find any coffee place here. And as you can see in the back, this is a little bit more modern area than we were in previously. It's actually like, I don't know, five kilometers from away from our hotel, but pretty nice. Nice park. Nice park, as you can see. There really isn't that many people those guys and there is one on the top so you can actually get on top of these these towers and the park itself is extremely clean it actually look, looks like a golf course or something because it's so it's so simple and so green and and then there is a <clears throat> on the back i don't know if you can see it's probably behind me there is a like a, this huge mall which also has the similar ice ring that we were or ice rink, ice rink where we yeah. were in KL but there was like four people yeah. <laughs> skating around and also also there are like these nice like a karaoke boxes yeah. it's a small small phone booth looking like it looks like a phone booth but you can get you can get inside and sing some karaoke unlike in in European karaoke it's like also Japanese if you know it's like a this personal room that you go in with your friends or yourself and you can order some food and sing songs but the what like karaoke is is in, in especially in Finland it's like the whole bar filled with people and the, in the one corner there is this small stage that you hop on and then you sing some very awkward awkward song with no any skills or yeah, and usually you're <laughs> drunk <laughs> yeah I'm not sure if this river is actually called River Saigon, but from Google Maps it says Song Saigon. So I don't know, probably. We haven't been doing much is it, since we came here, but it's been nice to so just take it chill. Yeah, and it's, as you probably have read all around the news, it's pretty hot in here. Yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow morning we're actually leaving, we're taking the train. And we're heading to Danan. Danan. And from there, yeah, straight to 
Hoya. Yeah. It should take about one whole day, I think. Yeah. We'll be leaving like 11. 11 a.m. Yeah. and we'll arrive to Danang on the next day or some, some day at the morning. Yeah, it's a long ride. Okay, I luckily, we took a first class train, so. I don't know if it's 900 kilometers or even more. And the first class train was so expensive. It's not. It was 40 euros per night person. Yeah. So that's first class Vietnam style for you. It's you can, it's very affordable to travel here. Yeah. Like public transportation and everything is so cheap in here. So bus would have been like lots of lots more cheaper. And it, yeah. But and I think the train is more comfortable because you can like walk around. And yeah. This time <clears throat> we'll take a train just yeah. because reasons. Again, it's evening and we're just laying actually on our bed. The last dinner we ate was in Joy Factory Again. because it's so good restaurant yeah. and so fulfilling. And yeah, I haven't actually cried or anything. My nose is, nose is running because I had some kind of flu or something in here yeah. and I, I put some tiger palm <laughs> on my nose because that's a Chinese medicine and it helps. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that, but now my eyes are full, like full of tears because it, it's so cold. It yeah. feels so cold. But tomorrow we'll be heading to the train station, hop into the train and sitting there for like 20 hours. So yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a long ride. I think this was our Ho Chi Minh visit this time. Maybe we'll, we'll come back in the late, late, like in the future, who knows, but thank you for watching this Ho Chi Minh few days trip and so thank you for watching. See you on the and see you train. On the, see you on the next one when, when we are on the train. Yeah. Bye. Bye.